We're taking a closer look tonight at Georgia's new gun law, which some are calling the Guns Everywhere Law, everywhere, including schools. The law allows school districts to decide whether to train and arm their employees with guns. Channel 4's Tim Pulliam is joining us now live from Brunswick to tell us some school districts have decisions to make and others don't. Tim? The school district here in Glen County already has armed police, so this isn't much of an issue for them. But there are many rural school districts here in Georgia that this is an issue for, and they will have to decide whether or not to arm their teachers. The Brantley County School District hasn't had a school resource officer on patrol in more than 15 years, according to Assistant Superintendent Dr. Greg Jacobs. He says the school district is one of the poorest in the state of Georgia. You have to have funds to be able to pay a resource officer. But now that Governor Nathan Deal has signed Georgia's Safe Carry Protection Act into law, that means this summer the Brantley County School Board can select some teachers and staff to carry a gun inside the school in an effort to prevent a repeat of the Sandy Hook massacre. Jacobs isn't so sure about it. I don't know that it's something that we necessarily need. Uh, we have great support and response from our local law enforcement, our sheriff's department and the city police at uh, Hoboken and Nehana. They do an outstanding job supporting what we do and helping us keep a safe environment. The new law is voluntary for school districts like Jacobs. Those who participate would have to follow these guidelines. School boards would support the funding to train selected teachers in marksmanship, judgment pistol shooting, the review of current laws on self-defense. Staff with military or law enforcement backgrounds could opt out of the training. Other criteria they would have to follow include an accurate account of all weapons and ammunition that will be carried by selected school personnel. Personnel with mental health issues are excluded to carry. Staff would have to be background checked. The gun must be locked away or secured on the selected person, and they would have to be licensed. Tonight, we spoke to parents with varying opinions on the new law. I believe it's very dangerous. I think even if a teacher is trained, I think a gun can be taken away from them and used against them. And I think that if teachers are armed and trained properly, that if a situation arises, they already know what to do, how to do it successfully. And the law goes into effect July 1st. The assistant superintendent tells me that they are a long way off from making any kind of a decision, if at all. We are live tonight. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, The Local Station.